Hello everybody, I'm Gabby and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Taylor Toned. Today I'm going to guide you through a 23 minute follow along bar and Pilates inspired class. You don't need any equipment today, but do grab yourself a soft surface or something to protect you from the floor. If you've not checked out my Instagram, give me a follow. I am at Taylor Toned. I post daily workout tips, combos, inspiration. So make sure you go ahead and follow me on there. Right, let's get straight into the class. Let's go. You're gonna bring your elbows towards your waistline, your fingertips to me. Take your feet under your hips and take a little slight bend through the knees. Then you're gonna open your arms to the side, 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 side. Side. Super excited today. We've got a brand new playlist going on. Epidemic Sound. That's where I get my music from when everybody asks, Where's the music from, Gabby? Epidemic Sound. We go press. Go press. Now squeeze the abdominals in. Start to grow the crown of the head up towards the sky. You've got a soft knee here. Press. Go press. Go press. Elevate that heart rate. Go eight. Go seven. Go six. We're going to walk out in towards your plank in four, in three, in two, in one. Bring yourself to the edge of your mat. Bring your chin to your chest. You're going to roll down through the spine. Take a walk out all the way in towards the plank and then you're going to walk back in. Hands come all the way in. Bend through the knees. Rolling it up. We go. Inhale. Exhale. Roll it down. Walking all the way in towards your plank. Holding stillness here and then back in again. Take a bend through the knees. Roll yourself all the way up. You've got three more like that. Inhale, exhale, roll it down. Walking in towards your plank, bringing those hands back in. You have two more like this. We go chin to chest, really mobilizing through that spine, drawing yourself into a straight line, eyes forward, walk the hands back in. We have one more of these together. Chin to chest, walking towards your plank. Now this time you're gonna hold it. If you want your modified plank, drop the knees down, find one straight line, crown of the head down towards those knees. If you're with me in the advancement, you shouldn't have dropped those knees. You should have kept them squeezed up and away from the ground. Breathe in, inhale, breathe in, exhale. Bring your right foot into the center line. You're gonna bring your left knee in towards the chest. And you're gonna to start to draw little tiny mini circles with the knee. Little circles round. For the modified option, you're down on this knee and you're coming in. We squeeze the knee in. And you have five more. Keep the eyes forwards. Four, three, two, one. Squeeze that leg backwards, other knee comes in. In like you are stirring a big pot of soup with your knee. Just spoon on the edge of your knee and you're stirring that soup. We take it round for five, for four. Push back in three, in two, in one. Come in towards your modified plank or your full plank. You've got eight seconds and then drop those knees in seven, in six. Drop the knees in five, in four. We drop in three, in two, in one. Drop the knees. Knees under the hips. Bring your hands around the side of your chest. Box push up, bend, press, keep the left leg, draw it down, bend, push you into a box push up position here, we go bend the chest, bend the elbows, sorry, drop the chest in between your thumbs, really important, you want to drive the crown of the head forward, you want to squeeze the abdominals in, you will not feel this unless you're really sending that chest forward, you should feel it in towards the front body muscles, into the front of the arms, I'm going to do an impression of what not to do. Here, the nose isn't going in between your thumbs. Your chest goes in between the thumbs. We push, we pull. You've got three, lift. We push, we pull. Two more, big bend, big push. One lift, one pull. One more, big bend, big push. One lift, one pull. Now drop the chest low, chest in between your thumbs. Take a little tiny press, go down. Woo. Drop, little squeeze, little squeeze. You've got eight more, seven, six, you've got five, four more, three, two, lift up. Drop the forearms down before the other side. Bring the forearms to number 11, shoulders over the top of those elbows, tuck the toes, step those feet backwards, hips in line with your hip, your feet are in line with your hips, sorry, and you're gonna add a little tiny tuck, tuck. Tuck those hips under, we tuck, rotating hip bones under, modified version, down towards the knees, hold stillness here, with me in the advancement, keep those knees off, and keep on tucking, little tuck, little tuck, just give me five, go four, drop the knees in, three more tucks, two, one, drop the knees down, bring the hands around the side of the mat, other side, 
we go. Bend, push, lift, drop. Bend the chest down, lift, push the toe high. Are you diving your chest in between your thumbs? If you do not feel this, you are doing it slightly wrong. Where your bra would sit, get that in between your thumbs. Where the wire of your bra would be, drop that in between your thumbs. And you want to bring the toe to the sky. We bend, we push, we push the sky in. You've got it, five more here. We go big push, put big pull. You've got four more, push, up, then in three more. We push, up, in two more, big bend, Big push, I know you're burning. Last one, bend, go push, go up. We've got a burn out now, so you're gonna drop that chest down in between those thumbs, elbow to the side cross, eye line forwards. We go pulse, go pulse, this should burn. Go seven, go six, push up in five, in four, head slides forward, three, two, one. Well done, lift yourself up, give those wrists a little roll out. Drop those hands down. Give yourself a little shoulder roll round, shoulder roll round. Then from here, you're gonna sweep your feet just in front of yourself. Make a fist position, wrist issues. If not, you're gonna push those hips up. Quick reverse plank. Send your left leg long, send that right leg long. And now guide your hips to the sky. Stay here, modified version. The feet come in, the knees bend. Push those hips up. You have your reverse plank hold. With me in the advancement, lengthen those legs. Draw the eye line up in the diagonal. Don't let the head go here. Your head's not back. Your eye line's forwards. Your hips are pushed. Your abs are in. You have just three, just two, one. Drop those hips. Sweep the feet round. You're going to tuck the toes under. Walk the hands in. Lift yourself into a standing position. Bring your left foot down to the floor. Reach your arms forwards. Squeeze in. Reach. Squeeze in. Reach. In. Press. Come in, go press. Come in, go press. My outfit today goes with the balls. <laughs> the outfit, the balls on the bar. The outfit that I'm wearing today. It was my birthday around five days ago. One of my clients here at Bar Algarve bought me this. How kind, Victoria Beckham. Absolutely love it if you're wondering where it's from. In and press. Now option, in, press, in, press. Eight, seven. Go into a thigh set and six. In five, in four, five, in three, in two, in one. Now open in towards a wide plie. Open those hands to the side. Come together, open, close, open. Drop those hips low. Send those knees over the top of your middle toe and open your heart to me. Close, open, inhale. Keep breathing, exhale, try and smile through the burn. You've got three to the prayer with the hands, two then prayer with the hands. Last one, the hands come to a prayer and the hips sink lower. We're gonna take it down for two, one lift up. We go down for two, little lift. Go one, go two, so we press the hips down towards the floor. Little lift, your knees are firing over the top here of your second toe. Use those inner thigh muscles, use those back thigh muscles to really keep those knees open. Drop for two, little lift. You've got three, drop, little lift. Two more, go down, go down, little lift. One more, go drop, go drop, little lift. Now last one, sink those hips low, find strength in your stillness. So right now, I'm going to really try and fly those legs backwards, drop those hips low, find that burning sensation through your thighs, and we start to pulse. Go pulse, let's elevate that heart rate a little bit more. Shoot those hands in towards a V. You have the other side of those quick lunge taps coming up in eight, in seven, in six, in five. Lunge taps coming up, other side in three, two, one. Bring it in, then reach. We squeeze in, we tap. Squeeze in and tap. So we come in and tap. Up to you, stick here or in. In. Is your front knee bent? Are you drawing your abs away from that front thigh? Keep going in. The underneath knee needs to be bent. If it's not bent, you won't find the burn. Draw the knee in. Can't keep the balance. Just tap the toe down like this. We go in, go in. You've got five, four. Back to that wide plie in three, in two, in one. Wide plie, drop, hold. Little thighs take tiny, little presses back. 
Little push, little press, little press. So you keep going right there. Keep going with those presses back. I'm gonna show you from side on. My hips are low, my thighs press back. They push, they press. Can you get your hips lower? The lower your hips go here, the more you're gonna burn. Little press, little press, little press those thighs back. Drive your hips lower, go eight, seven, six, five, now do a five, stick with me, three, two, hold. Drop your hips lower. Reach those hands into ballistic fifth position, draw the abdominals in. Option to lift your heels all the way up. Now start to pulse, press. Pulse me, go, wow. Little pulse, I'm shaking, are you two? Go seven, go six, see you've got five, four, three, two, one. Well done, lift up. Now we're gonna head down towards the ground. Bring it down to the ground. You're gonna lay yourself on towards your front. I'm hoping my mic doesn't cut off now. You're gonna bring your hands into a balletic fifth position. Then from here, your right hand lies flat on the floor. Inhale as you exhale. Lift one arm, left arm off, and the left, and then back down again. So we go up, squeeze, Woo. back down again. The toes are pointed, the knee joints are long and lengthened. Keep one hand on the floor and drop back down. Two more, lift and press. We come back down again, one more. Now lift, press and hold. You want one arm in a fifth, you want the legs off. That hand that's on the floor, join it, find that fifth position, arms scoop around a beach ball and the arms are gonna go. V, fifth. V, you're in a back extension hold. V and fifth, eye line is down, shoulders are rolled down your back into the back of your leggings. Roll those wings on your back in towards your leggings. You've got three, extend, two, extend. Last one, drop the right hand down, all the way down. Inhale, exhale, lift up, press, other side. So now the other hand comes off in that fifth. Inhale, exhale, lift, press, down to the ground. You've got three more. Lift, press, hold. We go down to the floor. Two more. Lift, press, lengthen. We go down again. Last one, you're going to hold this one. Inhale, exhale. Lift, lengthen. Bring that other hand up into what? Fifth. And the arms go. V, fifth. V, fifth. Shoulders slide down your back. Can you go? V, fifth. V, fifth. Keep the upper body long, lengthen. It's an isometric hold. It's just your arms moving. We go V, fifth. V, fifth. V, fifth. Eye line down, crown of the head goes long. You are out in seven. In six, straight into your C section. In five, four, your legs off. Three, two, one. Roll onto your right forearm. Bring this arm in front of yourself, lying in towards your mat and your soft surface. And you're gonna draw your toes towards your glutes and your knees come to me. Your knee lifts off the other knee, toes together. Tap the knee, tap the toe. Tap the knee, tap the toe. This forearm is it down to the ground, sorry. Tap the knee, touch the toes. Tap the knee, touch the toes. Is your front arm, forearm down towards the ground? It needs to be down so those hips can really face to me. Don't open through that top hip. Down, tap the toes. Down, tap the toes. Four more, three more. Lift, you have two. Lift, last one. Now toes together, this knee is open. You'll only be able to get a little bit away from that underneath knee because this forearm is on the floor. We go, down, Woo. lift. Now this is a seat burner here the side of your seat. That's where it should be burning. We go down, lift. Now you'll see if you lift the hand away from the floor, the hip can really roll around. So you're not gonna do much toning work there. You need to bring that forearm down. We lift the knee, drop the knee, and you'll get a deep burn out into the side of the seat. And drop, you have seven, you have six more. Keep going, five more here. Woo. You've got four more, then keep the knee up in three, Keep the knee lifted in two. Last one, now keep the knee away from the floor. The toe's gonna extend to me, keep the knee here. Bring the toes back together. We extend press, we tap the toes together. Keep that knee up and away from the ground, we tap those toes together. We go extend press, we go tap those toes. We extend press, 
before we go tap those toes right now. Might be your moment to close the eyes. We bring those toes together. We extend temperature burn here into the side of your left seat. We go extend press, creating that down to the stem. Inhale, tap. You've got four more of these to go. Woo, squeeze it back in. Three more than we hold. Extend press. Squeeze back in. You've got two than we hold. Extend press. Bring it back in. Now, last one. You're going to extend press and hold. Stay there. Now, time a little lift. Little lift. Little lift. For eight. For seven. Other side. In six. In five. In four. In three. In two. One. Wow. You're going to sweep it around. Other side. So now you want to bring your left forearm down and then slide onto the side body. Drop the head down, bring this arm down, toes together, knees forwards, lift the knee. We tap the knee, tap the toes, tap the knee, tap the toes, tap the knee, tap the toes. Keep going. We go one tap, one connection with those toes. Breathe inhale, exhale. My heart right now is high. I am sweating quite a lot. <laughs> we go, tap the knees, tap the toes. Three, you've got two. Now last one, you're gonna keep the toes together, open the knee, inhale as you exhale. You're gonna extend that toe to me and bring it back in again. You can always bring your forearm down. As long as your hips stay to me, you can bring that palm, sorry, down to the floor. Inhale, exhale. But the main aim of the game is for your forearm to be down so you don't open this hip. Inhale, exhale, press. Bringing it back round and tap. Bring it together. We've got four more to go. Ooh, what a burner. You've got three more round and push. Back in, you've got two more round and press. We go back in that last one. You're gonna inhale, exhale, round press and hold, stay there. Now a little tiny, press as we come up. Come up, you have 10 to abs, nine. Go eight, then abs, seven. You've got six, two, five, four, then abs, three, two, one. Oh my golly gosh, you're gonna roll straight on towards your back, then from here. I want you to bring your hands in, place your fingertips, you're gonna bring them behind the head. You're gonna lift your head, neck, shoulders up, and away from the floor into a crunch hold. Lift your left knee up and away, and we squeeze. Out for one, in for one. Out for one, in for one. Lift your head, neck, shoulders away from the ground. Bring your elbows forward, we press out, pull it. You've got four like this, you have three like this, you've just got two like this. Now last one, extend hold, and this left hand is gonna chop down, lift up. Chop down, lift up. So we chop to the floor like you're chopping a piece of wood with your hand. Physically impossible, but that's what we're aiming to do. And the head, neck, shoulders stay lifted. Chin is in towards your chest, and you're using your abdominals to stay up and away from the floor, not the neck. You have four more here. Keep going, three more. You have just two more. Last one, hold. Bring those fingertips and touch down to your ground. Now a little tiny shimmy of your fingertips forwards. If you can, release this hand and lift this arm up. You're drawing your fingertips along the floor. Actively push the floor away now for that deeper connection. Little slide, go eight, go seven. We have to take the other side in six. Quick breather in five, in four. Quick breather in three, in two, in one. Lower down, hand behind the head, inhale. Woo. Exhale, lift, draw the knee in, and then press out. In, and then press. I want you to make sure here, your head, neck, shoulders are off the ground. Eye lines forwards towards those knees, unless you're taking a quick glance at me. And I want you to really feel it in the upper abdominals. I taught this one the other day in studio at Baraga, and I woke up this morning, two days after teaching it, like, oh my gosh, my abs. Here we go, extend, in. Extend, in. Go four. Squeeze in. Three, squeeze in. Go two, squeeze in. Now the last one, extend hold. Keep that leg away, right hand. Chop, then in. We chop, pull in. We go, big chop down, in. Chop the floor, bring it in. Chop down, keep your head, neck, shoulders lifted. Your eye line pitch towards those knees. Keep the head, neck, shoulders off. How far can you get away from the floor? Chop and pull. Not long left to go, what, 30 seconds of burning to go. Squeeze in. You've got three, then in. Whew. 
two, and in that last one, touch the floor with the fingertips. The elbow stays forward. If you want the advancement, hand comes away, as long as you are not feeling in the neck. Now push that floor away. We lift. Oh my gosh, we lift. The heavier you push your fingertips to the ground on that right hand, the more it's gonna burn. Chin to your chest, we go press. The four, four, seven, four, six, four, five, four, four, crunch it, go three, go two, one. Well done. Draw the knees in towards the chest. Whew. Draw those knees in, give yourself a little rock side to side. Stay for the stretch, don't switch me off, stay for the stretch, help restore your body. The more you stretch now, the less you're gonna ache in a couple of days time. Bring your knees off towards the right side. Bring that left arm out and bring your head to me to get a torso twist. Twist out the abdominal muscles, those obliques. Feel free to close the eyes. Bring the knees back through the center. Send your knees now to the left side. Right arm goes along the head. Drops towards the right side and twist through the torso. Bring the knees back through the center line of the body. Rock yourself back. Rock yourself up and forwards. And you're gonna spin it round on towards your hands and your knees. Give yourself a cat and cow. Feels good to release those abdominals. Press the chest down. Lift the eye line up. Oh. Back through the center. And then I want you to sweep your left foot forwards. Your right leg goes backwards. Inhale as you exhale, tuck the hips. And power forward through those thighs. Stay there. Sweep this right arm up towards the sky. Inhale as you exhale, take the gaze backwards. Just an advancement, you don't have to take this, stay right there. If you want a little deeper stretch, you're gonna bring that left toe in towards your glute. Pitch the hips forwards, breath, thigh stretch. Drop the foot down carefully towards the floor, spin to me, and drop your leg to the side and drop the chest down for an inner thigh stretch. Carefully lift yourself up, bring your knees down, switch it up, other side. So now your right foot comes forward, tuck the hips under, lunge, lunge, lunge into a hip opener. Then from here, inhale. As you exhale, take the gaze backwards. Fingertips down to the toe. Either stay there, you don't have to take this option. All options are draw your left heel in towards your glute. You might get a cramp through the hamstring, that's completely normal as you build up strength to take that stretch. It doesn't happen as much. And then you're gonna bring that foot down towards the ground, carefully spinning around on your knee, and dropping the chest down in towards an inner thigh stretch. Allow your chest to drop down if you wanna go into that further stretch. Allow the forehead to touch down towards your ground. And then lift yourself on towards your sit bones, sit bones down to your heels, and mobilize this left arm round. Left arm goes all the way round, and then that other arm, right arm circles back, right arm circles back. Bring the hands forwards, interlace your fingertips, draw your chin in towards your chest. And then from here, hands towards the side, breathe in, inhale, touch the palms. Breathe, exhale, push the palms down. Breathe in, inhale, touch those palms. Exhale, push the palms down. Now last one, inhale, touch the palms. As you exhale, draw the palms towards the heart center. Press the hands to the chest. Roll the shoulders down, draw the belly button away from me. You're gonna close your eyes. Breathe, inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And now this time, inhale in some positivity for your day today or tomorrow and exhale away any tension and negativity you're holding on to. Drop the hands down, give yourself a little shoulder roll, give yourself a clap. And well done everybody. Thank you for joining me for that 23 minute follow along workout with me on Taylor Toned. Make sure you go ahead, smash that subscribe button, press the bell to get notified when I upload because I upload new workouts every single week. See you all soon, bye.